Hey everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can use explosions in Motion 5. And uh, Motion 5 comes with a couple different explosions that you can use. We're going to be using some of the same techniques that I used in uh, the TARDIS tutorial. So we'll drag the explosion into the timeline. And what I want to do here is that I've got this wall here on my picture. And I want the explosion to appear behind the wall and have some smoke come up afterwards. So we'll go ahead and drag the explosion over to where we want it to show up at, right about here. And we're going to choose our laser mask tool. And we'll go ahead and outline the wall. And you need to make sure you drag the entire explosion group over there. All right, so now we've got explosion selected and we'll take our mask and put that out around there. So there we go, but now it's what it's doing is it's keeping us from seeing it. We only get to see what's inside the mask. So we'll go under Inspector and select Invert Mask. And now the mask hides whatever's in its range. So we'll tweak this up a little bit, make sure it all matches up right. And we'll play that through. Alright, great, so now we've got the um, explosion there. And so now what we can do is we can dra grab under the library some smoke. And I'll just go with basic smoke here. And you want, to make this realistic, we're going to want to have the smoke start to come in before the um, explosion has finished fading away. So right about there. And so we'll go ahead and do the same thing. We'll take the mask tool, select basic smoke, laser mask, and cut it out. Invert it. There it is. Let's go ahead and play that through and see how it all looks. And there you go. That's just one of the things you can use explosions for in Motion 5 using the built in tools. If you want more realistic explosions, you can try DetonationFilms.com. They've got some freebies there that give you some more realistic look. You have to look at the ones there in Motion 5.